Hello everyone, Carson here and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be telling you what you get when you get free VPS hosting. But before we do get into this video, just of course a reminder to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so every time I upload, you are notified. And now, let's get started. Now, free VPS hosting actually does exist, and you may be surprised because it's not something that's commonly talked about. But if you look around enough, you will be able to find some free VPS hosts on the market. Now, in this video, I want to kind of cover what you will get when you buy or when you sign up for a free VPS host and, in my opinion, why you absolutely should not, as well as an alternative I recommend. Now, free VPS hosting is available, obviously, as I mentioned, online. And with it, you will get basically everything you would get with a normal VPS hosting platform. You will get the ability to host your system and to run it on a VPS. Having said that, though, that is not all you get. And a lot of the things you get are actually bad for you. They are negative features of the so-called free VPS hosting that actually end up making it a lot worse and very dangerous to sign up for. Now for starters, a lot of free VPS hosting does not give you VPS access or root access to your VPS. Basically, it is just a pseudo or fake VPS. It doesn't actually give you the full access as you would want, so you can't customize it to its full extent because it is a potential security thing for them. Now another big thing on the topic of security issues is the fact that free VPSs are notorious for having horrendous security and for being very dangerous to use if you are looking for a high security VPS. If you are storing any type of personal information on your VPS, definitely do not go with a free VPS it will not be good and there is a potential that your information will be hacked and will be exposed and compromised. This is a really, really big issue which people always forget, but whatever you do, you want to make sure the VPS you're going for is very secure and a lot of the free VPSs or so-called free VPSs are not secure and some of them might even sell your information in order to make money. Because of this, it's just better to go with a paid VPS or a budget VPS. And on the topic of very budget VPSs, I actually do recommend a VPS host, which is really cheap and actually has features worth a lot of money. It's the best VPS host for the price and the value you get for that price of 2021. So if you want to check that host out, you can go ahead and head down to my link in the description where I have it linked at a special discount. Moving on to the next and probably one of the biggest problems as well with free VPS hosting though is the speed and the uptime. If you're getting free VPS hosting, odds are it won't be reliable at all. All. As a matter of fact, the speeds and uptime can be so atrocious that you basically don't even have a website up half the time. Because of this, it's just better, in my opinion, to go with paid VPS hosting once again. That is going to do it for today's video, though, so remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.